what's going on guys this is mast and welcome back to some more smite conquest you're playing a little bit of erlang shen in the jungle erlang actually one of my favorite jungles to play right now uh he feels really fun with some of the items they've been adding in and stuff uh maybe not items they've been adding in but like some of the meta shifts that there's been i thought camo was going duo for a sec man looked like he was booking it um but yeah, like stone cutting has always been popular in Erlang and that's what we're going first after boots. I thought, oh my God, I am seeing things, man. I thought camo was going duo. I thought that camo two was a Janus two. Kind of shit my pants a little bit. Um, anyways, uh, there's like with, with Berserkers and like Windyman getting different slash. There's an Arthur mid. Let's go. I'm actually hyped. All right, farm him. Arthur, Arthur the game bed. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Arthur. I got to do this to you. You deserve it. For going Arthur mid, which is some absolute cheese, but I gotta do it to you. Um, do I not get to do it to you? Do I just get bursted to shit? Okay. I didn't see Hebo there, which kind of sucks. I was gonna like poke through him a little bit. I guess we actually have to be chill early game. Hebo early game is not that good, but uh, but Poseidon early game like is absolute trash. So I think we actually have to be a little bit chill, unfortunately. See, so probably just attack mid. It's <laughs> so unfortunate, man. Right as I was going to go on and we get knocked up. Yeah, we can just quick clear mid. Hopefully they lose a little bit of pressure off that because they're going to eat some damage taking wave and it'll just do the other mids. Yeah, Arthur early game, not the best. I don't know how this goes. It's actually funny because I was thinking about playing Arthur mid recently. Um, I don't think I've ever done it. So it'll be interesting to see what this guy manages to do this game. It won't mean much. Whether, whether he feeds or not, we'll probably try it soon. Uh, but I don't, I don't know if it'll be a video, whether or not I end up trying it soon. All right, let's see if we get to do anything mid, especially if somebody rotates out, we might be able to do a little baby bit, but Arthur probably just gets out of whatever we do. Yeah, especially if Poseidon's back. Is he gonna get a greedy? Gonna push up a little? He's really not, he just went for a little baby one on me. All right, we'll go grab buffs, let's see if uh, Poseidon wants to do a red buff real quick. Might as well drop it while we're here. Whoops. Yeah, the builds on Erlang feel really, really good right now. He's got a lot of variety where he can build full damage and absolutely slap, and he can build more bruiser and still do a lot of work. And I've been having a lot of fun building both. Are you? Okay, he's just spinning. I thought he was like diving or some nonsense. Um, yeah, I've really been loving crit Erlang and I'm really hoping that we get to get away with it this game. I have no clue if we do it. They have a Hebo. Hebo does a lot of damage. It could be really difficult to get away with it. So we'll just kind of see what happens. But if things go well, we'll probably be going like stone cutting into like Wind Demon Rage and stuff like that, which is actually a lot of fun. Wind Demon on, uh, on Erlang is absolutely ridiculous, man. Now that it doesn't suck, it's actually like a pretty strong crit item at the moment. Or uh, it was like really bad, I think, all of last season. I can't remember for sure. It's been bad for a while. Um... But now that it's so much better, it's really good on Erlang because you stick to people so crazy hard with your autos. It's actually kind of filthy. All right, we probably want to be looking to gank dual in this game. Because Arthur, I mean, I don't know, ganking mid will be good, but ganking mid means there's more of a risk of Hebo, and Hebo can burst us before we get all our stuff off, before we get our heal off. This is actually really good. This is huge baits. What's up, boys? Huge taunt, huge root, huge dead. I don't know if we get a kill Ymir. Like, I think we just hold... Oh, nice. Oh, a little bit, little bit not nice. I don't know what he does about that, though. Oh, nice! Huge. And now we kill Arthur because he's Zoom. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's unfortunate, dude. That's... Oh! Let's go, baby. So, uh, I think Arthur dash autos kind of screwed him. I'm pretty sure. I think he leashed onto uh, Donsboro instead of Herc, so Herc didn't die. Which is actually super unfortunate for Arthur, man. Every once in a while, Arthur Dash Auto is almost always OP. Every once in a while, they kind of fuck you. And it feels really bad when they do. All right. We'll grab this real quick. We'll drop red. And then I think we'll go back and get our booties done. That was really good. That was actually, like, insanely lucky that that uh, got set up the way it did. All right. Let's hopefully not die to Hebo. He was just trying to gank Dons. Yeah, we're going to leave the sides. Yeah, I'm going to focus on not dying. <laughs> did he clear it for me? Thank you. What a kind man. Uh, let's get Ninja Tabby, it's better. Yeah, Erling feels really good. Erling's not a god that I've played a lot in the past, because he felt sweaty. Um, I don't think he feels as sweaty to me now. I don't know what it is. I don't know if he's been nerfed or what, but now he just feels like a cool character. I don't know if that makes any sense. For a while, it felt like he was genuinely broken. I don't think he's broken anymore. 
So, so I have a lot more fun playing him. There are some gods that I feel like can be fun to play broken, like Merlin when he came out. I had a blast playing Merlin, um, and that's just because Merlin's a cool character. Uh, whereas now Merlin, I feel like actually a little bit bad because they have nerfed him so ridiculously hard. His early game sucks now. Late game, he's still pretty good. Um, oh, whoops, I didn't give Cam his too. That was kind of bad on my part. But, uh, let's see, can we gank? I mean, they can just slap him on their own. That's cool. Zoom? Oh, we juked his three. That was a little gross. That was a little dirty. Um, let's see if we can head left. I don't have a whole lot of mana, but we might be able to get a little gank off. Our blink's coming up too, which could be good. Do you know? He does not know. Stop banking. You stop at this minute. Okay, we got his ult. That should mean he's dead. <laughs> he's so dead, dude. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was not the ult right there, unfortunately. I think if he just ran a tower, if he, I don't know, if maybe his beads were down? But, uh, if his beads weren't down, then he literally should have just been fine there. And he could have just, like, you know, beads out. But I'm assuming he would have done that if he could, right? Because I feel like that's, like, the obvious play. Alright, let's go drop buffs. We'll, we'll back. We'll try and get stone cutting done in one back. Oh, Arthur! Out of mana. <laughs> Arthur mid is not going so hot. <laughs> Oh my god, we have so much early game with this team. It's actually really fun having a uh, having a Herc support with this. Because obviously Erlang is like a really good early game jungler. He's got a ton of, um, not support, he's got a ton of CC and a lot of damage to go with it. So his early game is pretty ridiculous because just generally speaking, CC characters tend to be stronger early game because, you know, CC just tends to do what it does early game for the most part. Um, okay. eh. But, uh... But late game, I don't know what we do. Late game, they actually might have a decent chance. We'll have to see. I don't know how Arthur mid goes late game, but everything else is pretty good. Uh-oh. Boys are dying? Alright, we're gonna go get stone cutting done. Stupid speed buff, man. That one actually went on me. I've had speed buffs that I swear were just, like, up my ass that didn't, that didn't actually go on me, you know? I don't know what's wrong with the buff. <laughs> Are their mids off to a rough start? I like how he's trying to rush Soul Leader too. Your right tower is under Which I mean, it's probably if you're going Arthur mid, you probably kind of have to. But I don't know. There's something funny about it. Okay, I kind of want to go on him, but it's probably dumb. Yeah, let me not yoink Poseidon's farm. We'll wait for him to get here. I think we'll just go invade. Emir. Trying to bait freeze. Damn, we did not bait freeze. All right, Poseidon does. Whoops, that was kind of dumb. Poseidon doesn't have ult yet. He also split from me, so we have to be a little bit careful. Oh, Hebo's here. <laughs> Actually, could have been bad. All right, Poseidon, you ready to frag? He doesn't have ult, but like, I don't really care. Yeah, see, Herc's down. All right, we'll chill. I think we'll go gank right lane real quick. Ooh, Robin ult. This could actually be really good. Yeah, we have to be careful about his two, though. He's dead. I think. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually almost a little bit bad, and he almost got out of that. Damn, that was insanely fortunate timing. I was just like, fuck it, let's see what's up in right lane. And then he immediately, <laughs> he immediately ults on Kamazots. So that turned out pretty good. Looks like everybody's in left, so we're going to see whatever we can yoink over here. It looks like it might not be much. They actually might get gold off this. So we'll probably want to rotate over. I'm coming, boys! I don't know if we need to do anything here. We don't have beads. And they're going to know I'm here. But I think they didn't even go for it. Yeah, we're chilling. Whatever, that's fine. Let's see if Rama messes up. Let's see if Hebo messes up. You're kind of out of... I just... Okay. That was bad. <laughs> I just let him juke it. That was really bad. I think they got our red buff just now. Yeah? Yeah. It didn't matter. Emir was there to help him anyways, but it was still kind of shit. Alright, I think we're going to go greedy. I think we're going to try and work into crit, and if Hebo starts one-shotting our face, then we'll build a little bit of magic defense, but I actually really, really want to build uh, into Windyman right now and see if we can get away with it. 
Because, I mean, so far we haven't died. We're about to get beads done. We haven't even needed beads yet. Like, we've just been safe enough with our engagements that we haven't really, like... That it hasn't been important yet. So, I think getting beads done at level 12 will actually be enough, and we don't really need defense yet. But it could go horribly wrong. You know, we'll see. Alright, we'll get that dropped. We can work pretty perfectly into Wind Demon right here. They are, like, crazy extended up in right lane, but I'm not going to that. That seems super risky. Damn, we're so farmed. Level 12? Hebo's pretty farmed, though. Can somebody report that guy? You good? Let's see if we can dash to this guy. Eh! That was really bad on my part. I should have ulted sooner. I, uh... Yeah, I'm really not. But <laughs> I'm really I'm really not something. I almost left aside and die. I just like didn't ult for, for basically no reason. Oh, we wiggled on him. I might be dead. That's a good beads though. Okay, we don't need a Jukibo ult now. I almost trolled. Oh my god, I missed that one auto. Uh Robin, if you could get away, that'd be great. Alright, we played that really well. I played it really greedy. He bought a lot of damage. But I thought we could live basically exactly how we did there. So, that was pretty sick. What's up? Alright, did we get Wind Demon? No. Can I? No. <laughs> I was gonna say, can we just like, you know, stick around a little bit? We're 200 HP, maybe not the play. Maybe we just accept that we don't get it quite yet, and we just go grab some more buffs. All right, that was actually, that was such a good fight, man. We got so much value out of that. If we didn't have, uh, if we didn't juke the Emir freeze, then I think I would have been kind of screwed there, right? I'm pretty sure the three would have been enough value for Hebo getting that knock up that we would have had to, I don't know, maybe we could have disengaged though. So maybe it wouldn't have mattered either way. We just wouldn't kill Hebo and it still would have been one for zero. I don't know. All right, Kama kind of wants the blue buff, I think. So we'll probably head over. Robin's low enough. This should be a good fight. Uh, Hebo's here, but it st should still be a good fight. Eh. I shouldn't have three Robin like that. I should have been looking for Hebo. That's kind of bad. Because we, we did so little to Robin. We really need auto attacks to do most of our damage. But, I mean, it's fine. We get the blue. We also maybe kill Hebo right here. Is he backing? Ew. Who backs? Alright, sorry, I just proxied you, bud. Uh, <laughs> that was kind of a dick move. It was just, you know, the wave was right there. It had vision on me. I can't just, like, let it get away with that, right? That's like leaving a witness. So, yeah, I had to take it. I actually explained everything pretty perfectly there. Clearly, we had to proxy the Camazots. Alright, um, I think we chill a little bit around mid right now, because assuming we don't juke Emir Freeze every single fight, it's gonna be kinda hard to fight right now with, like, Hebo and, uh, and Emir in mid. So I think we either look for Solo or... What's up, buddy? I don't know who's around, so I'm chilling. Um, hang on, let's actually ward this in gank. Do we get away with it? I know there's an Emir. That was bad. He should have crippled that. Get a little double taunt. Uh, I think we die for this. Yeah, I couldn't juke the Emir, the, uh, the, uh, Hebo ult there. They might get a clean up, though. No? <laughs> maybe they don't? Oh, no, Poseidon's coming in. Maybe? maybe? Everybody's low, but nobody's dead. Oh, Poseidon doesn't have ult. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That fight went so bad, man. Unfortunate. It was mostly, uh, it was just greedy that I went for it, I think. I didn't think Hebo would be there. If it was just Ymir Rama, then it's a really good fight, but Hebo ended up being there, too. And everybody dies. Feels bad. Ironically, um, if we built defense there, I think we're fine. Hebo did 1.3k, so, yeah, we're gonna work in uh, a little something. A little something-something. It's honestly not that bad. I was thinking Ansel wouldn't be very high value, but I keep forgetting, man. Like, Ansel actually does a stupid amount of damage now, so I think it's pretty good. At the same time, it's not a ton of defense, so maybe it's not that good. And maybe it makes more sense to build, like, Runic or something. But, uh, I think it should be pretty helpful for Hebo. Like, 30 magic protections is definitely plenty that, like, until he has... Even if he has percentage pen, it's still gonna be plenty. Like, there's no, there's no build for mages that, like, makes 30 not really seem like a decent amount of, uh... Extra health in fights. 
So I think it would be pretty clutch in a fight like that. Or able to survive through the Hebo ult combo and actually get a little more stuff done. Because once he uses his cooldowns, he's kind of fucked. Alright, this should be a free kill on Robin. Man, he still had mana for that? That actually sucks. Oh, Camo ulted there. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just can't kill him. It's not worth. We can maybe take tower. I don't know who's here. But we have boys rotating, so I think we're fine. All right, they're just dying for this. This is not their fight. Wait, somebody's going to kill Robin, right? I just, like, assumed. Yeah? Her got it? Maybe? No? That sucks. I guess I should have stuck to him. I figured Camo would kill him. Cam had, like, plenty of mobility. I don't know why he stopped. Oh, Herc did get him. <laughs> he got him with a blink. Let's go. Oh, they're in left? Yeah, this is... Wait, wait, wait. Big FG. Big FG. Big dick, boys. <laughs> Please. I believe. Wait, tell me they don't have it worded. All right, we're going to ult for HP. This could go really wrong. But I'm the one tanking, so I think we'll be okay. Like, I'm the only one low right now. Let's go, baby. All right. Uh, I am... Never mind. Arthur's not here. We're fine. Yeah, I was getting a little low. Got a little spooked. Not gonna lie. That was actually such a good call. Literally, the only person that could rotate was Arthur. And I figured if Arthur did rotate, we could just farm him. Because, like, as long... I mean, we just had CC, right? So I don't think he could get away with doing anything to us. Um, if it was, like, Hebo, it would be bad. Hebo could just literally ult us and it'd, be like, immediately be bad. Um, but I don't think Arthur could have done much in that fight. Damn, they're pushing down mid after we get fire. I really want to go on him, but we die. And dying is bad. Oh? Hit the one. Uh-oh. Oh, did he mess up? I think we might catch him with the two here. <laughs> we did. Let's go. That was really good. If Rama was with him, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Huge Donzel. Clap him. Give me crits. By the way, one thing that's funny about the crit build on uh, on Erlang, I haven't really seen it run much before. Eh. Oh, wait, that's bad. What am I doing? I killed myself. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I was thinking, like, there's no way I die. And then, you know, I, like, got in there and I was like, wait, we die. Yeah, I don't know. We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. That was not the play. Rama does a lot of damage. Ymir has walls. Tower hurts. Kind of sums up what just happened. This poor Rama. Getting absolutely smacked down by the bat. All right. Um. God, that voice pack's so good. Uh, Deathbringer? Do we just do Wind Demon? Maybe we just do Wind Demon. I don't know if I want more crit. They're not building Spectral yet, so I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. We'll build more crit for now. We could go Rage for a ton of crit. I don't know if that's better than Deathbringer or not. We're definitely a part of a lot of kills, so it probably is better to go Rage. Because we should be able to stack it super, super fast. Yeah, the crit build is really greedy, by the way. Um, <laughs> not something I would normally recommend on Erlang. It's only something that I do when I'm, like, fed on Erlang. But, uh, but it's really fun. And one thing I think I was going to bring up, I think I got sidetracked, but when you crit on Erlang, the, uh, the dog crits are, like, the same size as normal crits. I think? I don't know. Maybe they're just big. Maybe crits are just so big that they're not the same size, but they still stand out. I guess they're... I guess it bugs? Huh. On smalls, it looked little. On that, it looked big. I don't know. But it's really funny because you'll see crits that do like 40 damage. <laughs> because, yeah, that, that dog crit did four. Uh, <laughs> so you'll see like these little baby crits that take up like a big chunk of your screen. And I don't know why, but I think it's really funny. That's not why we're building it, but it's just I think it's funny. Sorry. Yeah, it's not like we get value out of big numbers that are actually little numbers. But it's just funny to see, like, oh, I'm getting huge crits! And, like, the crits are not at all huge. It's just a stupid dog. Uh-oh. Uh, never mind. Am I just making bad decisions right now? I guess I am. They were really grouped right there. I didn't think they were. That was a big waste of beads. And blink. More! Alright, there we actually got real crits. That was pretty good. Gotta be a little bit careful about Emir. 
I gotta figure out Smite, man. Every once in a while, I'm actually lagging in fights now. I have like a 3k PC, so that's not good. And I think it's only Smite I'm having this problem with. Emir, come here. Make me speedy. Stop running. Yeah, we got like, I think that was a 26 crit from the dog. I swear, something about it. I don't know if it's just like bias or what. But I swear that, like, the dog crits way more than I do. I don't think that makes sense, right? Doesn't dog hit exactly as often as Erlang does? Wait, does he? Does he hit more? Wait, what am I seeing? I'm getting two bonus procs. Oh, that's right, the 1%, the 1%. Can the 1% crit? That doesn't make sense. I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting, I'm tripping myself out right now. Uh, let me try and rush out of base. Let's try and get, um, I guess we'll just get rage done, actually. Never mind. I was going to say we're going to try and get protector done and get level 20, but I think it's still better to finish rage. Actually, I don't know. We're winning the game kind of, what? How did you not die? Why, why are you not getting autoed? Um, yeah, we might be late enough in the game. It actually does make more sense to go for Deathbringer too. Might try and get that done instead. Yeah, I don't understand some of these baby crits, though. Because the dog's supposed to do 15%, right? So why... Is it just hitting it like my weakest auto? Even then, I don't get it. How are some of these crits doing, like, 10? I genuinely don't... Like, is it bugged? Or does the num do the numbers somehow actually make sense that way? Like, I'm trying to process a world in which the dog actually crits for that little. Because my autos hit for so much, you know? Like, my weakest auto hit for, I think, 140 there? So why would dog crit for, like, 10? You know? Yeah, let's actually do this. This is a little bit risky for me. I don't have beads, so they could wreck us. I don't think they do. I think we're pretty much just safe to do it. I thought Camo was getting cheeky. I thought he was going to go for fire. All right, we'll grab an actual sentry. Okay, let me not choke this fight. <laughs> I've, like, practically into twice in a row. We, like, actually killed ourselves, and then we, uh... And we almost killed ourselves. So maybe this fight, we get a good blink and a good beads. How about that? I'm coming. Oh, he's dead. Is he not dead? I don't know. He's got the bat. There's four people, though. Oh, he is just booking it. Um, I guess we just push mid. I mean, I think he's... Um, I don't know. Can I help? I like, I actually want to help him, but I don't want to die for it. You know? Did he just big brain teleport? Oh, my God. No, what was that? Did he get rooted? I don't understand. <laughs> it looked like he was sitting in place. I don't know if he like actually gave up or what, but I thought he was teleporting out. I thought he was trying to make huge plays. Alright, this is bad. We need boys. We need boys and we need to wait for boys. Arthur, don't you do it. You're going to want a Rama on your cheeks if you're going for plays, Arthur. Because I do that. Because we do gross things. Alright, this is good. We should be able to look for a blink ult here. We probably want to go on Hebo, but Hebo might just clap my face. Oh, whoops, that was a waste. That was a big waste. Hebo just not ult? I'm trying to save my three for a better spot, like right here. Try and get out of the slow a little bit. See if we can blink on this. Uh oh. Uh oh Unfortunate, dude. There's not much we do about that. Just got a fatty mirror freeze. That sucks. I figured Ramadash would be down, so we'd actually be able to do something there. This man just spoke way beyond my level. <laughs> I have no clue what this means. <laughs> I know what the internet is, and I know what binary is, so I'm following, like, the tiniest bit. And I know what these numbers mean. You know, like, like I know my numbers. I don't know what they mean, I guess is what I should say. I learned numbers in school. Oh? No. Rip. It's really hard to fight these, man. Um, it's funny, too. Like, Kibo actually, like, didn't get that much value out of that fight, and we still lost it. I think what we're going to start doing, I think I'm going to stop thinking about Hebo, and we're literally just going to try and kill Rama, because I think Rama did insane work in that fight. And Hebo's a weird person to kill for Erlang, because he, like, he bursts so hard, 
and Erlang's problem is getting bursted, so we have to fight pretty carefully against him. Like, because our, our heal is insane, right? Like, our heal is 700-something if we don't get anti-healed. Almost 800. And Hebo can literally just kill us before we get it, so... It's a little bad. Alright, let's see if we can get Protector done. Hopefully everybody can chill for a little bit. Get our build finished up. No! Yeah, we should ward the Fire Giant. Alright. Oh, there's a lot of boys over here. I'm a little spooked. Are you good? Yeah, they're kind of running at him. I don't know. I don't know if you get to do that. I don't have beads, so I have to be really careful with positioning here. We get one shot really easy. I just want my money. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're just like, they're getting caught by damage for no good reason here. We don't, we don't get anything out of this. We're not grouped enough. Uh-oh. I might be dead here. That sucks, dude. We're just getting baited into shit. I think I'm dead. Oh, maybe get a blink? That sucks. Yeah, I'm not gonna ult this. That sucks. We literally just got baited into that. Like, I don't know. I could, like, AFK at speed buff. I was trying to linger since Zerk was, like, constantly fighting. And, and instead we just die, which sucks so much. Yeah. I don't know what we do about it, man. I think it just is what it is. It's, it's literally exactly what I was talking about, too, right? Like, we don't have beads there. We're not grouped, obviously. Like, we just want to be really far back. And, uh, yeah, that's why. We just, like, the moment we get frozen, we're just dead. It's a two and a, two and a half second freeze. Kind of busted. They should get fire off that. I don't think anybody can steal it. Alright, well, hopefully we can do some work when they siege phoenixes. As long as Herc, like, chills a little bit and stops trying to be a Chad, then, uh, we'll be fine. <laughs> but, but we do need to be, like, 5v5 and not 2v5 in fights. As long as we're 5v5, even though they have fire, I think we'll be okay. If we want to be greedy, we can actually defend here too. It honestly might be worth. Because it's not enhanced. I don't know if it matters that much. Like, that's something I feel like people don't do enough is uh, is defend tier twos. It's really unpopular, so it's hard to get everybody on board with it. Like, it's pretty common sense to not defend tier twos in most situations, but there are also games like this where we're, like, basically dead even and they just have fire. So it's actually fine because you keep them from getting, like, a 5k gold lead for free. Eh. Alright, well, we'll wait for them to push. We'll see where they go. They're doing gold. I guess we'll grab Red Pot real quick. Red Pot's kind of nasty now. I feel like Red Pot used to be kind of meh. I don't even remember. It's been a while since they buffed it, but getting the uh, the cooldown on it and getting more power on it than it used to give you is uh, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, I'm trying to think, how little did it used to be? I think it used to only be at one point, like... God, when was it meta? Maybe it was 30 power? I think it was even less than 30. I think it was like 25 or something for physicals. And now it's 40 and gives you cooldown. Alright, I think the boys are actually down to defend this, which could be good. Wherever they go. Oh my god, I wanted to go on Arthur so bad, but we have like no vision. I'm down. Get him. Herc's going around. Could be good. We got Rama beads there. Alright, now we go hard. No, please go hard. Please go hard. Oh, no. He's gonna get the ult off, dude. Please, somebody go on the Rama, man. Oh, my God. Sorry. Holy shit, dude. He was so free. I think, like, legit nobody tracked him. Oh my god, that sucks. I I think we played that actually perfect. And just nobody followed up on Rama. He was so dead. And now they get stuff. Now the fight goes bad. Can't get to him through the meat wall. But he left the meat wall. There was no wall. <laughs> we lose. 
Uh, like, I can bait a little bit. Yeah, we die right here. You just can't defend this. Poseidon doesn't have ult and they're all up. Oh my god, man. Uploads looking like they're going to be losses for a while. I am playing so many games where, like, that play was gross. We played that so well. I, like, perfectly waited out Rama beads. He's basically the one that matters in this fight. And we hit him with the taunt. We hit him with full CC combo. We get away with it. I even beads through Emir Freeze at the end to try and stick to him. And just, like, his one HP insta-dash roll that we couldn't auto. He might have been shelled even. Maybe we even got the auto at the bottom. And, like, rolls out away from us. Or we, we're, we're off cooldown, so we can't stick to him at that point. Literally anybody with, like, remotely any range can just kill him. And it just didn't happen. It sucks. I don't know what else we do. I think it just is what it is. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room, walls keep tumbling down.